Hi, I'm Richard Carlton. Welcome to the Coach's Corner. In this video, I want to talk about the 10 top free tools that you can download as a FileMaker developer or user to help you with your FileMaker project. Now, as a reminder, all the free solutions that I'm mentioning here are totally unlocked and available for you to customize. So if you want to take them apart, see how they work, well, all these top 10 solutions do that. If there was some sort of catch, then I wouldn't recommend it. Now, the number one free tool that we see downloaded every week is a free CRM system called FM Starting Point. This is a CRM, which means it's a customer management invoicing and sales tracking system. So you don't need to use sales if you don't want to use sales, but it has customers, projects, invoicing, product management, etc. Really great tool. It also has an integrated calendar and integrated messaging or communication tracking with your customer. Totally free. Check out fmstartingpoint.com. Now, item number two and number three are very similar but different. They are interface sample tools that you can use to check out possible interfaces that you can build with the FileMaker platform. One is called Red Downtown and the other one is called Energy. They have both are really awesome interfaces and they're great at showing some of the capabilities of the FileMaker platform beyond a basic black and white screen. If you want a visually appealing interface, then these are great tools to use to take apart and to learn how to build advanced objects, but also how to make those objects beautiful. These two free user interface samples are totally unlocked and available at the links you see on screen. Now it's important to note that both these interface files were created by Nick Hunter. Nick Hunter is a recognized user interface design expert who worked a number of years at Apple and FileMaker, which is now called Claris, building great interfaces and tools for the FileMaker platform. So hats off and thanks to Nick for doing a great job and giving us some awesome interface tools. Now speaking of Nick Hunter, talk about a guy who gives back to the community. Nick created the Lean Design video course. Now this was originally a live broadcast over five days. And of course, these live broadcasts were recorded and questions from viewers like yourself were answered in real time by Nick. So we took these recordings and turned it into a 10 part video course. It's actually a ton of content. And of course, Nick can't stop showing new and great cool things. He spends his entire life dreaming of new ways to make the FileMaker platform great make it better than it is and propelling it forward. So thanks to Nick Hunter, not only for the previous sample files, but also for this lean design course. Now, what is lean design? It's a design methodology for making your FileMaker files run faster, making them perform very quickly, making them work really great on the cloud. That's what this multi-part video course is about. And of course, this video course comes complete with sample files. That way you can take the files apart, play with them. They're totally unlocked, totally free. In fact, I told Nick we should probably charge for it. At any rate, it's completely free. If you go to fmtraining.tv, which is where we keep all our inexpensive video courses for the FileMaker platform. Well, if you go there, look at the individual courses and across the top somewhere, you will see the Lean Design video course link. And of course, that's a free course, which is why it's on this list. Now, number five on our list of free FileMaker tools and samples that are great for you to take apart and learn are three sample files that we cooked up to demonstrate how to connect to Amazon AWS's data centers. Now, Amazon AWS is partly about data centers and hosting and putting solutions and things like that, but they have a lot of API capabilities. What does this mean? Well, API is your way of telling an Amazon service or some other service to do something for you and to give you the results back. So number one on this list was OCR. We created an OCR application that you can unlock and play with. In fact, it actually has a free capability in there for limited demos. So you take a scan document, you send it to Amazon, and back comes the text in a text field. Really cool. The second one is where you send Amazon a audio file, like an MP3 audio file. And that API service will deliver back to you in FileMaker the text of what was said in that audio. So you have OCR, which is optical character recognition, and then you also have voice to text. 
Both are great samples. The third sample is how to integrate FileMaker with Amazon AWS S3. S3 is a fancy word for saying Amazon's giant hard drive in the sky. So when you work with Amazon, you give them your credit card and account and they charge you, say, $10 a month. You can have access to your own giant FTP server or storage up on the cloud, kind of like Box.net or Dropbox or Google OneDrive or whatever you want to call the equivalent. This is S3. It's basically a giant storage vault up in the cloud. And so we show you how to load files up to it and load files down to it. Why should you use Amazon S3 over maybe one of those other services? Well, Amazon S3 is designed for developers. It's way cheaper. And so much cheaper than Google's product or Dropbox or Box or any of those things. And it allows you to programmatically interact with it with FileMaker. Push files up, read files, bring files down. Super cool demo. Totally free and unlocked. So check out the Amazon integration samples at the link below. So before we jump off the conversation of API integration, I want to talk about integration with PayPal, which is a technology that we use every day. So imagine creating an invoice in FileMaker, which is a very common thing to do, then telling PayPal to go out, communicate with the customer, email the customer, collect the funds from the customer. Once the money is in your PayPal piggy bank, to send you back a notification to FileMaker so you know it's paid, so your FileMaker file actually shows it's paid. This is a free sample, once again, unlocked. Take it apart, learn how it works. In fact, we've had to update this one two or three times because PayPal keeps changing the way they do things to improve security. So if something gets broke, we fix it to make sure it's working great for you. Number seven, the Base Elements plugin. Now, there's a company called Goya in Australia. The CEO there is Nick Orr friend of mine who does a great job. Now, he has two products with very similar names. One is the base elements application or utility, which you can pay for, which takes apart a FileMaker file and tells you how it's built and can show you, like, if you have a field defined, where that field might be used in scripts and layouts and things like that. It's a very cool diagnostic tool. Now, they also have a free product called the base elements plugin. So the Base Elements plugin, which works with Windows or Mac, allows you to extend the capabilities of your FileMaker application to do additional things that FileMaker can't do by itself. This plugin is totally free and it's primarily designed for developers or consultants. Even if you're just kind of starting, you're kind of new to it, but you're kind of programming savvy, you like to get in and get dirty and learn how to code and that kind of thing. This plugin is for you totally free, and it's very popular in the FileMaker community. So feel free to check out the Base Elements plugin, and I'll put the link here to Goya, which is once again based in Australia. And of course, if you come to the FileMaker Developer Conference, you'll always get to see them there. It's always fun to hook up with the people that are from other countries when they come to the United States to visit at DevCon. Number eight on our list of free tools or downloads that you can use to help you with your FileMaker project the FileMaker Go 18 training tool. This was originally created when FileMaker Go was 1.0, which originally kind of should have been called FileMaker Go 10 or 11. And so since that time, the number, the version number for Go matches the version number for Pro. So when FileMaker Pro 18 came out, then you had Pro 18 and you had Server 18, you had Go 18. So this is a tool to help show you the difference in behavior between FileMaker Pro and FileMaker Go. So if you build a solution in Pro, take the identical little FileMaker file and put it on Go, right, and you compare the two, this tool walks you through that so you learn that. There is behavioral differences between the operating systems. One's mouse-based, one's touch-based, and really, even though it's the same company putting this stuff together, Apple, they behave a little differently. It's important that you understand those differences, so this tool helps you with that. It helps you become a great mobile application developer if you're using the FileMaker platform. Once again, it's totally free and totally unlocked. Number nine on our list is a calendar integration sample. It was originally created by a developer at Salient. Now this solution was built a couple years back, but it's extremely relevant and very cool. And it helps you start to understand how to take a JavaScript or web-based open source calendar and bolt it into FileMaker. 
Now, the FileMaker platform by itself doesn't really have a calendar. It's a really good moment for a third party to come in, and there's an open source calendar system called fullcalendar.io. That's the website. So it's not .com or .net. It's .io. So fullcalendar.io, and it's a web-based calendar. The trick is how to make it work in FileMaker. So this sample file originally showed us how to do it. It was really cool. And it got us thinking, wow, wouldn't it be great if we could put this other places? So if you go to this website at Saliant, you can put your information in and you can get the sample file. However, that sample file is really designed for kind of high-end developers to take apart. We've actually already done that. We actually improved the code and we took that calendar system and built it into a starting point. So if you want to see the original version of the calendar before we kind of fixed it and optimized it and made it work fast, then you would go to this sample file at Saliant. If you want to see it optimized and working really great, totally free, you can download the copy of FM Starting Point, which was the first item in our list here. So the free calendar is in FM Starting Point. Now, if you want the calendar to be bolted into a solution you already have, and you want to do it as fast as possible, then you need to take a look at our calendar kit, which is not free, but it's $49. And what that does, it walks you through with about 12 steps and 12 videos on how you can step-by-step step kind of glue it into your own solution. Now, $49 is not free, but if your time is worth anything and you don't want to sit there and beat your head against the wall trying to reverse engineer the Saliant solution, then this tool would be good for you to do. However, if you're broke or you don't have $49 and you have unlimited amounts of time, then definitely take starting point apart, take the Saliant tool apart. You'll see the differences in the code and how it's been optimized and you'll learn how to integrate this with your own FileMaker solution. Now, item number 10 of our top 10 list really is two solutions from two companies, but they both help solve weaknesses in the FileMaker platform. The first one is the missing admin tool from Klaus Levent. Now, Klaus is a great FileMaker developer, highly recognized in Europe, and he built this tool, and he posted it along with a blog in a website called The Brain Basket. Not Brain Basket, the Brain Basket, and you can check that link out here. And what that does is provides a interface for you to access some of the hidden features that are part of either FileMaker Server or FileMaker Cloud 1.0. So if you're interested in taking advantage of some of the capabilities of FileMaker Server and the web interface to FileMaker Server doesn't seem like it has everything you're looking for, that's because FileMaker hid some of the capabilities. You can't get to them without some sort of web API or some sort of command line. So the missing admin tool walks you through the command line things you need to do or provides a web API so you can get in and make the changes yourself. So this is a little bit of a goofy conversation because FileMaker built a server solution where they didn't really build a consistent interface to control all the aspects of server. Now, from my perspective, this is goofy, but anytime someone makes, in my opinion, a mistake, or they have some sort of limitation, then some sort of third party comes in and patches that hole or fixes the limitation or somehow addresses that. And that's what the missing admin tool from Klaus Levent does. Now, the other item that's number 10 is another identical situation where FileMaker slash Claris Corp didn't build a front-end interface for an important tool. And the tool that I'm talking about is the data migration tool, which allows you through a command line to move all the data out of one FileMaker file into a nearly identical FileMaker file. So real quick, if you have a customer with a lot of data in a file and you take a copy of their file offline and you make a lot of changes to it and you're ready to roll out those changes, you need a fast way of moving the data from file A to the new file, file B. Well, this tool with the command line will do that in seconds, which previously might have taken days to do, and I'm not exaggerating at all. It, this was the key mark feature of the FileMaker 17 release, and of course, FileMaker continues to update this tool. You have to know command line to use it, you know, C slash D slash forward copy slash B drive, blah, 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 blah. Paint it in the rear end, and I hate that. So the folks at Productive Computing, another great company that makes great tools, built a wrapper application that kind of goes around this command line tool that allows you to do drag and drop so you can actually implement this data movement while using still an interface that makes sense to most normal humans. So if you're interested in either of these tools, check out the links below. They will save you a lot of time if you're a FileMaker developer and you're administering servers or you're actually trying to move data from one customer file to an updated version of the customer file, right? 
really cool stuff. If you have questions or comments about the top 10 or you think that we left something off, please like our video below and leave a comment. And then for sure, if you have a question and you want to ask us, shoot us an email to support at RC Consulting and we're happy to help you out. We'll see you next week.